Hey Bills fans, I just want to um, make this video in a loving memory of my father. He was, to me, the number one Bills fan. And he said after the Bills lost to four straight Super Bowls, because I'll probably never win one in my lifetime. And I was thinking that, you know, it looked like they were going to finally win one for him. I thought maybe, maybe next year, I thought we would have maybe a couple years left. Possibly, and the Bills would finally win with Josh Allen. Um, unfortunately, that never happened because he passed away last Sunday. So I just want to do this video in his memory. So, you know, please bear with me if I'm not the same as I usually am. Okay. Now, that being said, you know what made me laugh is because I watch a lot of the stuff on... um. YouTube, and this is what gave me the idea to do my own video, was that Richard Sermon now blames Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes for what's going on with Lamar Jackson. Well, first of all, they have nothing to do with each other. They made, you can make your own decisions. They don't all have to line together. I mean, Lamar, I mean, I don't know if Baltimore, I think Baltimore, I think he might have offered him a contract at that point. But anyways, they wanted to get the deal done, those are uh, Mahomes and Allen, so they did, so Lamar Jackson, you know, they did that for a reason, because they wanted him not to have to go to his fifth year, you know, and it would have been made more sense, because the more money goes up, the, you know, the longer it takes, the more money goes up, so they could never come to an agreement, then obviously, um, <clears throat> Deshaun Watson's contract really blew everything up. And the biggest problem I have with uh, Richard Sherman, I'm mean, not Richard Sherman, is Lamar Jackson, is no one, he doesn't have an agent. And when you don't have an agent, you really don't know what things make sense or not to you. Plus, if I notice, he was an MVP, and I give him credit for that because he did have a phenomenal year. But I was thinking, like, why didn't he get any endorsement deals? I mean, come on, Baker Mayfield got a bunch of them. And that's when I found that he didn't have an agent. So I really think that... Um, Richard Sherman's so wrong, you can't blame two guys for that. They, they saw, you know, their agents saw, you know, the Bills, you know, general manager, and they came to an agreement. They didn't want to wait too long because then the money gets up. And I felt with, uh, especially Josh Allen, the Bills took a huge chance on him. And the reason why they took a huge chance because he did have that phenomenal year. But how, how do you know if he's going to keep, you know, having good years? Well, so far he has been. Now, Mahomes, to me, was a no-brainer on his part. And the Chiefs part, because down the road, that, that, that money started already looked like a bargain. He's already won a Super Bowl since he signed that contract. So hopefully the same thing will happen with the Bills. But to blame those two guys for, uh, you know, what's going on with Lamar Jackson, I'm sorry. I mean, you, you can't say, well, it's because of this and that. No, they just can't come to an agreement. They're not going to give him guaranteed money, especially with his style of play, because he runs a lot. And Lance Young, I don't care what anybody says, he quit on his team. The, a lot of players spoke out that he could have played the last game of the season, definitely the playoffs. So that means the locker room's all divided now. Just give me your thoughts on this, please. You know, I, I want to know what your thoughts are, because your comments mean everything. I, as, I could, as you can tell, I'm not really doing this video as well as I'd like to. So please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the sh share and hit, hit the notification so you, you know when my next videos are coming out. And like I said, I want to hear your comments because I want to hear what your intake is on this. And go Bills!